volcanoes. One of nature's deadliest phenomenon, capable of unleashing devastating havoc on the nearby population. This is the story of the world's deadliest volcano eruption, Mount Tambora. Mount Tambora is an active volcano in Indonesia, located in West Nusa Tenggara in the Lesser Sunda Islands. Before 1815, it reached more than 4,300 meters high, or just over 14,000 feet. This made it one of the tallest peaks in the Indonesian archipelago. Tambora is twice the size of the famous Mount Vesuvius. Prior to 1815, Mount Tambora had been dormant for several centuries. Radiocarbon dating has established that there have been three previous eruptions, estimated to be in 3910 BC, 3050 BC and 740 AD. But in 1812, Tambora became highly active again and the crater began to rumble and generated a black cloud. The magma chamber under the volcano had been drained by previous eruptions, but it gradually refilled, increasing the pressure under the caldera floor. Eventually, on 5th of April 1815, the eruption started. A series of eruptions occurred over several days, as the volcano unleashed its destructive power. The sound of the eruption could be heard over massive distances, including on the island of Sumatra, 1,000 miles away where they initially thought the sounds they heard were gunshots. It is estimated that 100 cubic kilometers of volcanic material was ejected from the volcano. The nearby village of Tambora was completely destroyed. By the time the activity stopped on 15th of July 1815, the mountain's height had been reduced from the original 4,300 meters to just 2,851 meters. It left a caldera, the crater at the top of the volcano, measuring 6 to 7 kilometers across and 600 to 700 meters deep. The eruption is estimated to have had a volcanic explosivity index of 7, and it had 4 to 10 times the energy of the more famous Krakatoa eruption in 1883. This made it the largest and most devastating observed eruption in recorded history. A moderate tsunami was also triggered during the peak of the eruptions on 10th of April, striking the shores of various islands on the Indonesian archipelago, with 4 meter high waves being recorded at Sangar. The ash cloud emitted from the volcano spread widely across South Asia, reaching as far as Borneo and the Sulawesi Islands. The ash destroyed vegetation, devastating crops in the region, and leading to widespread famine. The ash also contaminated water supplies, causing illness in the people drinking it. The 1815 eruption released 10 to 120 million tonnes of sulphur into the stratosphere, causing a global climate anomaly. Average global temperatures decreased by up to 0.7 degrees centigrade, enough to cause significant agricultural problems around the globe. On 6th of June 1816, it snowed in Albany, New York, and Dennysville, Maine. The climate anomaly has been cited as a reason for the severity of the 1816-19 typhus epidemic in Southeast Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean. In the spring and summer of 1816, a persistent stratospheric sulphate aerosol veil, described then as a dry fog, was observed in the northeastern United States. It was not dispersed by wind or rainfall. Areas of the Northern Hemisphere suffered extreme weather conditions, and 1816 became known as the year without a summer. It is difficult to quantify the number of fatalities caused by the volcano's eruption. It is estimated that up to 11,000 people died directly due to the eruption itself but the damage caused by the other effects of the event, such as damage to crops leading to famine, is estimated to have caused up to 100,000 more deaths worldwide. Mount Tambora is still active, and minor lava domes and flows have been recorded during the 19th and 20th centuries. 
The last eruption occurred in 1967, but this was a relatively small event, with a volcano explosivity index of zero because it was not explosive. And there you have it, the tale of the world's deadliest volcano eruption. If you found this video enlightening, please like and subscribe to my channel, and leave any comments on what you think about this video. Thank you for watching.